Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Rampage Knights. I am Nerdstalgic. Uh, so yesterday we played as the Battle Mage, and we won. We actually won. Now, the Battle Mage was pretty fun. Not quite as fun as I had, uh, as much fun as I had with the Warlock. But we had some pretty good drops. We ended up buffing our vitality up to like, I don't know, like 120 max. So even though we did die, uh, we we got that vitality boost, and we had just enough, uh, I guess you'd say, timely items to deal with the problem. So okay, I think we're going to change our class over to um, let's go assassin. Assassin so far has probably been my least favorite class. Uh, and let's let's change to a lady. Let's become a lady. We'll go goth girl. And uh, kind of hand we want to wear. Let's wear. Hmm. Yeah, let's wear the steampunk helmet. Just for shits and giggles. Okay, so with the uh, with the assassin, the big thing is uh, much faster. Can execute uh, down foes, which is cool. So if you knock them down, you can execute them. Now there is um, you can't just you know back to back to back to back execute things. Uh, there is a timer on uh, kind of like a cooldown on the execute itself. Um, whenever you evade, oh, and you get double jump, which is helpful. Uh, whenever, if I can remember it. Shit. Shit. Whenever you evade, uh, you call out a smoke screen. Poof. But it shares a cooldown timer with the assassinate. And uh, when you evade, you become... Or whenever you uh, do the smoke screen, you become invisible. I don't really like the assassin because I don't like the fact that it makes it makes you invisible to yourself, and it's very very easy for you to lose yourself in the uh, in in the actual uh, cluster of mobs. And this is why I don't really enjoy uh, the assassin too much. Couple coupling that with the uh, very low vitality. It's just not really a build that's very good for me and my playstyle. Uh, if we take this arcane orb, we're going to get popped. We're going to get zapped. Uh, so we're not actually going to take it. We will pick up that dart. This is a pretty dangerous... Um, that worked out pretty well. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty dangerous uh, place for us here. Yeah, throw that throw that rock into the wall. Or throw that dagger into the wall. Good job. So it's pretty crucial for us to try and maximize uh, the amount of health we carry out of the early game portion of this. Which is uh, quite a bit easier than the later parts of the game. We also need to try to find as much good uh, good stuffings as we can. Of course, I mean that's typical. Typical of any playthrough. I mean, you want to try to uh, break your character as quickly as you can. No monsters, huh? All right, let's get this chest. Hopefully, there's something decent in here, but it's probably just going to be gold, which is fine. If we run into a shop, we might be able to buy something nice. Yeah, just go. Okay. Heading on into the castle now. Enchanted forest completed. Gold, gold, gold. Okay. Alright, this guy is dangerous. Very dangerous. These uh, bigger guys are much more uh, 
uh, much faster than you think they would end up being. So we're going to use hit and run tactics here with the big guy. We go in for just a little bit of damage and then we jump back in, swat him a few times and get out. Because uh, with the bigger guys, you can't knock them back like the little guys whenever you finish up kind of like a combo attack. So you just don't want to try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Unless you can kill them quickly, which we can't. Alright, this could have something decent in it. Uh, small axe would be a damage up. We'll go ahead and take the book of fire. I've never seen this before. Lifeguard's belt saves you from falling into a pit. Sure, that sounds good. Filthy orcish sword we will take. Uh, poison is pretty good, especially for hit and run tactics like we're using with this character. We can dart in, poison, and then dart back out. All right, so there's a shop. Let's go ahead and try to break as many of these barrels as we can without. Uh, Eat that bread without getting damaged. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Wow, I can't believe we didn't actually take some damage there. All right, let's pick up that. Eat the apple. Can we get that? Yes. Good. Good. Okay. I think we can get that if we. Yeah, that didn't work. But, we're okay. We're okay. And we'll pick back up the element here. Hopefully there's something good. Ah, I was hoping. Oh, God. Bad place to see this guy. Surrounded by uh, his buddies. is taking poison damage, so the hit and run tactics that we employ are working well. Good, good. Okay. We did take a little bit of damage in there. Just a really bad room for us to run into such a big guy like that. Especially on this character. It'd be nice to get bigger rooms to where we could uh, have a little bit more room to maneuver. I was really hoping that would be a shop. This could be dangerous, but this guy uh, ran off on his own, which is good. So I'm really like curious as to what the uh, smoke screen actually does, because these enemies seem like they're still... Look at that. He's still tracking me. He's still tracking me, he's just not attacking. I'm not really sure about that, the coding behind that. Okay. Oof. Man, we just barely got out from getting damaged on that one. I think the cooldown on the assassination needs to be shortened. And I don't think it needs to be tied to your smoke screen. I think there needs to be two separate cooldowns. And the cooldown needs to be much lower. Because it kind of hamstrings you. Shit. Shit. She looks pretty ridiculous with that... Uh, that life preserver around her. Oh. So we popped the uh, burning barrel and that's what killed us there. That was my bad. It's just a bad room. Narrow hallway, lots of enemies. We don't have a whole lot of health. So you just have to be really careful. And then the big guy spawned. Yeah, see, he's just wrecking us. Wrecking us. If he's in the air, you better just jump away. You better just get away from him. You're not going to be able to stop his attack. Well, I kind of did there, actually. After I said you couldn't. Okay, that health pot is pretty nice. Pick that up. 
It is a bummer that we died, but... Eh. Man, where's the shops, huh? I mean, I guess I can't complain too much. We're getting a free, uh, huge, freaking huge chest. We are back up to full health. It'd be really, really nice if we could get something good here, like a nice set of armor or a ring or a necklace. Okay, that's a uh, scroll of transmogrification. We could use that to transmogrify everything that's on the floor here. Let's see what this bag is. Uh, one piece of gold in every new room. Nah. We're going to transmogrify everything. Yeah, that's better. Uh, I like the Ice Patron. It's a pretty good minion. I was hoping for a little bit more in the way of items here. Uh, we'll remember that the Dirty Medicine is here just in case we need it because we do have an Elven Cure laying on the ground so we could always uh, basically get just a 50 hit point heal for free there. Shit! I didn't mean to double jump. Yeah, bad sitch. When they get you surrounded like that, it's bad. I mean, just really bad. And if you jump into a big pack like that and you don't hit all... <laughs> nice. You don't hit all of them, you don't stagger all of them, you're going to have problems. Because while you're uh, comboing one... Come on. Come on, game. While you're comboing one, uh, another one's going to swing at you and hit you. All right, let's open this wooden chest. I think we're going to go ahead and swing back through and use our uh, dirty medicine combo. Since we need 33 hit points and probably not going to get another uh, opportunity to use the dirty medicine. So dirty medicine is going to give us a... Uh, it was shrinking disease. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, we'll do a lot less damage with shrinking disease, so I'm not really interested in keeping it, even though it's pretty hilarious. Um, and we'll keep the small health potion to bring with us. I don't really want the rum. Yeah. All right, so that was the end of the area. Made the right call there. So we're down one life. That's not good. We do have a poison weapon, which is which is decent. Uh, I like that we have that life preserver. That's pretty good. We really we, and the patron's good too. Interesting. Cyclops laser eye. Sure. The way this works is it charges up. Just takes too long though. Just like a lot of other things, just takes too long. The cooldowns in this game are just some of them are just way too long. Charge times, cooldowns. I mean, in the time that it takes you to charge that up, you are gonna be hurting. Somebody's gonna basically wail on you, and it doesn't really matter how good you are at getting away from things. Yeah, see, it's just there's just. In most rooms, I think it, it might be good for like a boss fight. And we'll try it if we get to a boss. If we get to a boss. Our hit point, our vitality is so low, this class doesn't really um, have any wiggle room for mistakes. It's definitely, I think, the class that I dislike the most. Because I'm very prone to mistake making. And I freely admit it. Well, that was simple enough. Never seen this before. Angry Chi. Oh yeah, we have. We saw this in like our first Let's Play. It's actually pretty good. Uh, every time you get hit, it's gonna lay an egg that you can eat to get some health back. So, ooh, a 40 hit point health potion. Nice, nice. Massive cleaver, fast and short. Damage is up, but we can't do our hit and run. I don't know. Let's go ahead and take it. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll swap out for the uh, larger heal potion if we can get on it. There we go. We can always come back and grab that other one. Yeah, it's pretty, da pretty damn short. Yeah, see, there's the egg. As long as you don't take a lot of damage, the egg can be pretty good. Ooh. 
That is definitely some pretty short range on that thing, and I am not touching that gold. No way, Jose. Hamburger. Hamburger. Cheeseburger. Is this a shop? No, but it's the, it's the kitchen. Alright, let's try killing off the smaller guys first. And then see how this uh, Cyclops beam works. See, even with the... Okay, now he's chilled. How much damage is he going to do? Oh, so it just does a uh, constant amount of damage? Worthless. It's fucking worthless, guys. It's worthless. It takes... If there are a ton... If there are a ton of enemies around you, which is where that would be ideal to use, because it, you know, penetrates, then they're going to end up hitting you. They're going to surround you and hit you, because they move really fast. If it's only one enemy that's slow that you can get range on, just doesn't do enough damage. So. This game's very, very clever. I like the game. It just seems like... Uh, a lot of the things in the game were not really play-tested through. Just need some balance. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's supposed to be intentionally brutally hard. And if that's the case, and unfair, then sure, okay. But as it stands right now, it's pretty damn unfair. Towards the player. I mean, you can get broken with items, but it's just, it's all luck. It's all RNG. God, that guy. You kidding me. How is he so fast? See, we got 57 million things following us. If we open up here, it's just not, and, and they're spawning more. Awesome. Ice patron, good work. God. See, by the time we charge that up, that guy is like in our face. It's just worthless. Worthless, worthless item. Worthless. Okay, finally a shop. Let's bust all these barrels up. See some boots. Let's see two different pairs of boots. Go ahead and use the health potion and then pick this one up. Alright, so flying sandals, you levitate over chasms. Uh, we already don't need that because we have the life preserver, I guess. Uh, frost boots, kicks, freeze, enemies, immunity to cold. Broad axe. I think we're going to take the frost boots. Not that we really will do much uh, much kicking, but there are enemies later in the game, <laughs> if we get there, that, uh, that can freeze and you don't want to be frozen. We really, really, god, man, it's just, you know, unlike uh, other, you know, other classes, when I get surrounded, I don't really, I don't really feel that bad. I don't like panic or anything. But with this class, when I get surrounded, I freaking just panic. I have the panic farts. I'm like, gotta do something. Another health potion, huh? I'd really like to get some vitality up. That would be very, very helpful right now. Get our max hit points up. Now, to somebody who hasn't watched any of my other playthroughs, you might like listen to me talk and bitch about the game and think, he just hates this game. No, I actually like the game. It's just, uh, there are certain things in the game that just don't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Alright, let's smash up. Actually, this might be pretty good for this. Shit, I used my potion instead. Nope, can't even hit that stuff. What 
we certainly have plenty of gold. And I think they need to make, uh, you know, if I had a suggestion, if the devs were, like, listening or watching or whatever, I would say make, make getting extra lives easier. Because there is an achievement, even for, like, coming back from the dead multiple times. And, uh, but you have to do it, like, five times. The most I've seen on all of my playthroughs, I've been able to get two guardian angels. And that's it. Alright, Alter the Ancients. We're gonna do it. Righteous Strike. I wonder if that just means we're gonna like be critting or something. Alright, so a demonic chest. I mean, we're, yeah, so we're just gonna crit. Nice. That'll be helpful for the next six rooms. Okay, so this demonic chest might give us a nice item, but it's going to also give us a curse, but yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I can't, I can't resist the gamble. I do really like the mechanic here with lock picking. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey -o. All these enemies, man. And a bomb guy, okay. I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of arbitrary difficulty in here that is just like, we're gonna just do this to make it like unnecessarily brutally hard. I'm not even playing on the hardest setting. That's the thing, I'm not even playing on the hardest setting and it's still, um, it's still pretty rough. So, yeah. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's that I'm just trying to, like, go through the game at, like, breakneck pace. But it's... There are achievements in the game. Ooh, this is really good. Being of a natural growth. There are achievements in the game for completing it in a certain amount of time. So, at, and it counts your time. So, in a, cer in a certain way, it's meant to be speed ran. You know? I don't know. We got uh, leather armor blocks will hits or yes, protector's plate is really good, really really good. For one, it pretty much uh, makes the final boss just like can't do any damage to you. For two, it never runs out of durability, which is a big problem with the uh, other sets of armor. And it just it just anything that throws a knife at you, an arrow, it doesn't matter. So it negates a lot of the game's difficulty. I think it's a little bit overpowered. Okay. He has, he has no health. Have to bust his shield. I don't. Uh, I don't think. See, like. I was in the middle of that carousel attack. I'm not really sure why it didn't hit that guy. Another enemy over here? Oh, there's multiple enemies over here. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Just lure them, uh, lure them onto the, the crumbling blocks and then just drop through the life preserver. Need some healing here. Desperately. Yeah, well, there's a little bit. Being of a natural growth is super good if we can just avoid taking hits, which is really hard. Because it'll make our vitality just grow like two for every room that we don't take a hit. Unfortunately, uh, taking a hit is not really my, or not taking hits is not really my forte. Um, we, we do nice, the crits, the crits are real. 
Um, we do have the uh, thing that will help us to avoid range damage. We took a hit in there. We took one hit. So that's enough to basically make the beam not work. Game is not very forgiving. Even on the easy difficulty. I mean, I'm on... I think it's the easiest difficulty. It's like normal or something. It's like, I'm not even on hard. What's this? Matchstick, fire your weapon, dash attack, sets the ground on fire. Could be interesting, I suppose. Let's go ahead and take it. Down the hole you go. Okay, so we did manage to clear that room with uh, no damage taken, so we gained two vitality. Hooray. Up to 62. Cheers. Vitality. We're on a roll, don't look now. And that's the end of that area. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the mid-boss. We have 19 health, no lives left to give. I have very little illusion about being able to beat this, so we'll give it our best shot, but I'm thinking we're probably gonna take a death here. See, we weren't even really in front of it, and uh, our weapon is only doing half damage. I guess we could poison dart. Oh, yeah, we could, but then we're gonna miss. Yeah, we're probably gonna die very quickly here. Just gonna summon in um, some dragons that we have to pay attention to now. But the main thing is, you just don't want to stand in front of the in front of the dragon heads, or, or they'll snap at you. Hit you, uh, summon fireballs, etc., etc. So, so we could try this. Yeah, see, there it was. We were in the corner. He somehow managed to wiggle past us, behind us, and uh, snap at us. So, I like this game. I do like this game. I just, I'm, I'm just so confused about mixed signals that the game gives you. So, I don't know. Um, in particular, the Assassin class is just... It's kind of like, to me, it's been the hardest class out of all of the classes. So, maybe it's intended to be that way. I don't know. It's not very forgiving. You don't have a whole lot of room for error. just doesn't play very well. So, anyways. Um, thank you for joining me, and in our next video, I'll probably play the Barbarian, which is like my, my second least favorite class. And it's kind of like on the opposite end of the spectrum from the Assassin. It's big, slow. So. Until next time, game on.